Major Slack videos. Yeah, <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Shut up, Pee Wee. Okay. Well, yeah, my name is Major Slack. Thanks for joining me again. Let's walk through some more Shadow of War and what a fantastically fun game to do a walkthrough on. Uh, this game is just chock full of strategy and chock full of combat. I love it. Um, this is basically a cleanup, level up, run. Let's just look at the map here. In case you don't know, this is a bit of a spoiler. Spoiler alert. Um, you do well to clean up as much as you can in both these regions. Minas Ethel and Sirith Ungol. Okay, before moving on. Because there's a certain mission. I'll just tell you the name of this, the mission right now. It's called The Fall. Once you do The Fall, you're going to get locked into a new region. And you're going to be locked in for about, I'd say, at least half a dozen missions, if not more. And you won't be able to go back to either of these two missions until you complete a whole bunch of missions in that new region. I, I think it's there or there. Yeah. So, yeah, this is a cleanup level up run. And I got a to-do list here. And the only thing that stands in my way is pop-in captains. Ah, uh, the pop-in captain. I got some stuff. Let's take a look at the stuff. Inventory. Um whole bunch of new gems. Let's just de-slot everything. Let's be the easiest way to take care of it. De-slot everything. Okay, take a look at the gems. Uh, in case you don't know, if you have three or more of the same kind of gem, you can press that button, whatever that is for you. Whatever the one that says hold to combine highlighted gems. So we have three of these, so let's just combine those and you make a better one. Same thing, we got three wealth gems, so let's combine those, make a better one. Sorry, I said that backwards. Three Vitality Gems, and these are the Wealth Gems. Now, these give XP when you slot them into armor. Now, you might think, okay, I got three of these. Let's make it into a better one. But the better one does not give you as good an advantage as if you use two of these in separate slots. So, yeah, I learned that the hard way. So, if you wanted an XP advantage, for example, here you get 7.5% 7 from that one. And you can slot another one into the armor and get a total of 15%. But if I went and combined those three with this one, and then I'd get, I think it's called, here we go, Polished Wealth Gem. That will only give me a 10% increase instead of a 15% increase. So yeah, if you're willing to, you know, use up an extra slot on both the armor and the cloak, um, you're better off not combining them. All right, next. Wealth gems, um, not wealth gems, warrior gems. Yeah, I want extra damage in my ranged, in my bow, but it's not a bow, it's a battle hammer. And extra damage in my dagger, because those are the weapons I use the most on captains. And the weapon I use the least is a sword. I rarely ever use it, so I'm not even sure what to put here. Let's just throw in a vitality gems, just so I can, like, hack away at enemies um, in an emergency to get a little bit of health back. Yeah, so that's it. That's my layout. Got a new bow here. This guy, a rare. Seems to be, I've been, in some of my videos have been confusing. Not confusing, but I just didn't remember. Yellow is rare. Orange is epic. I gotta remember this, okay? When you're in the middle of combat and you're on the field and you're looking at, you know, a dropped weapon, I just like, you know, I just quickly go, that looks like an epic. And they're, they're all epic. This is good. I want this. I want to use this. Yeah, we can upgrade it by getting five kills while our health is full. That is first. That's number one. So let's track that challenge. Anything else here? This will give us 12 more health, but doesn't give the benefits of this legendary, which is gain one wrath when getting hit. So we'll leave this on. Sell this one. I know, you know, it looks kind of dumb, but it's only 12 more health, and this one is a much better has a bonus, you know, so it's, in my opinion, it's better. That's it. I think we got them all cleaned up. Okay, like I said, first on the agenda, get five kills while we have full health. Um, plus, we want to eventually work our way over to... Hold up here, Slack. Hold up, hold up. I also have some skill points. Yeah, this is very important. I want to get the Bird of Prey skill. This will unlock a quest. Boom. Alright. Hold down whatever button that is to slow time and aim while in the air. This consumes focus. It's actually a really good skill. And what we're doing is we're pushing hard towards Shadow Strike. 
Okay, definitely want to get this as soon as possible. Pr probably one of the best skills in the game. Real lifesaver, so we're pushing hard towards that. All spare skill points go into getting Shadow Strike, all right? Now, getting Bird of Prey unlocked a mission. Let's take a look at that. There you go, just saw it. The Canas, Canas, I don't know. Let's go with Canas. Right there, that guy right there. So why don't we fast travel down to this guy and get things underway. All right, now we're looking for five suckers. Okay, grogs are not suckers. <laughs> Definitely not. There's a guy over there. All by his lonesome, okay. Okay, we got one. Might as well work our way over towards the mission. Still have full health. Here we go. Ah, jeez! Two. Oh, that didn't count. Two. Three. I don't have any more, okay. You, give me some arrows. Come on. Is he gonna let me? Is he gonna let me? Come on, 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 boy. Ah. Uh, oh, I didn't get it. Okay, don't die on me. There we go. That's four. We had to kill this guy, unfortunately. Okay, we need one more. There's some intel over there. And a Karagor. Alright. I want to get intel on... Uh, Well, I'll worry about that later. Let's just work systematically here. Maku the Armorer. Okay. Okay, Arrowproof. Okay, we'll table that for a later date. Probably use Elven Rage on you. Nice hit popping goodness there. Okay, we gotta maintain full health here and get one more kill. Or... <laughs> get some more intel. Can't get enough intel! I'm continually astonished, like, just astonished. Um, I've been watching a lot of blind playthroughs lately, and I'm just astonished at the complete lack of depth that a lot of these blind playthroughs um, fail to gain. It's just, they, have, they apply no depth to these games. Meaning they just, they just miss out on 80% of the game. It's a shame. It's a shame to watch them just use the very basic moves and the very basics in the gameplay and, you know, use that to get through the game and it, I don't know, it just, anyways, I've ranted about this before enough. <laughs> no, it's just a shame. It's a real shame. Okay, we completed our challenge, that's that. And they do the game a disservice. They really do it a disservice. They give people the wrong impression, you know, like, you know, people watch their walkthroughs and go, okay, this game isn't that great. It's because they're not really playing it. <laughs> yeah, okay, like I said. Enough about that. Rant over. Um, we have completed this challenge. Now all we have to do is spend a little chump change and upgrade it. And now it is the Life Striker. Seven health recovery per ranged hit. Let's try it out. You hit me. There we go. Okay, let's see if it works. No, wait. Okay, that was the game screwing up here. Ah, see, my health bar is going up. Great. Yep, it works. Great. Cool. Ah, I 
Love it. Actually, I should have. Okay, there's some intel up there. See you there. What he said. Bulg the. Oh, look at this. Looky here. Mortally flammable. My favorite kind of captain. <laughs> You're definitely on our hit list. You are on our hit list. Check this guy out. Picking your nose. Stop that. Stop that. Hey, hey. <laughs> oh, what fun. Okay, now, uh, focus, Slack. Let's get back to the task at hand. Let's go do that shadow. Shadows of the Past mission. This one right here. It's basically a bird of prey mission where we can get an easy skill point by getting or completing at least one bonus objective. And it is just around the corner. I know. Here we go. Popping captain. Bold the mad. You know what? I've got a bacon burn all loaded up. Thank you, Bold the mad. Easy 950 XP. You're a sweet. You're, you're a real sweetheart. <laughs> okay, and um, got some chump loot here. What is this? Yeah, we can sell that. Saving every freaking penny for um, another part later on. I don't want to do a spoiler, but yeah. Mid-game strategy requires money. Here we go. This is a Bird of Prey Shadows of the Past mission. Something I realized about these Shadows of the Past missions. Complete the mission, you get 500 million. Complete any one of the bonus objectives and you get a skill point. It's not necessarily the first bonus objective. Just all you have to do is complete any one of them. So that makes a big difference in the strategy, actually. I'm just going to go after the skill point. Getting like the gold cup is pretty tough. To get the, the gold cup, to get like the gem that they offer, you have to complete both bonus objectives. All right? So complete any one of the bonus objectives to get a skill point. Complete both bonus objectives to get the gem. Um, the gold cup is pretty hard. I've never done it before. I'm just going after the skill point. That's all we want of this. Canlas is our word for bravery, and indeed it took bravery to march on Mordor and wrest control of it from Sauron himself. I don't know how in the world you could do this under in the allotted time. Like the timer starts as soon as like, you know, the timer's going now. Maybe if you had Shadow Strike, yeah. Maybe if you had Shadow Strike, you could probably do it faster. Okay, here we go. Defeat seven Uruks with the Bird of Prey. The one of the bonuses is get three headshots. So that's pretty easy. Forget about the timer. Let's just do the Bird of Prey thing. All right. So jump up. Press the aim button. Okay, we got one headshot. To do the bird of prey, just jump off anywhere and press your aim button, and you're going to this like slow mo mode. That's two. There we go. We got the bonus objective. Now all I have to do is kill four more guys in bird of prey. That's more arrows. You are next. Oops. Oh, I had no more focus. Okay, yeah, yeah, and it requires focus too. Dang it. Hmm. 
Seems to me I took that guy down with a body shot. I'm wondering if you even have to do a headshot to get an instant kill. Let's find out. Looks like you don't. Okay, people. Don't necessarily need a headshot to get a kill. But you need at least three of them to get one bone on the bonus objectives. Okay, so this should be pretty easy. One last one. Boom. There we go. Easy skill point. When the one ring slipped from my finger and onto Sauron's, I learned how little bravery differs from recklessness. That's nice. Okay, let's go on over to the character screen. Once again, pushing hard towards Shadow Strike. Let's get this one. Mighty shot. When your mind is full, press spacebar to fire an explosive shot. Tried it a few times. Um, <laughs> pretty much the reference standard to any, like, you know, any move that requires might is this guy here. If it doesn't measure up to cleansing plays, then, you know, it pretty much sucks. I tried it, you know, knocks him down, stuns him, but, you know, what you, what you could do after that... I don't know. What you really want is this guy here, Firestorm, comes available at level 11. Mighty Shock can actually cause a fire explosion. That would be very useful. I shall leave nothing to chance. That's that. Now, um, once again, cleaning up and leveling up. Let's do this mission here, Supply Raid. Shaq the Warlord is raiding Noruk Deathmonger's stuff. Supply cash is worth 1,370 XP, plus whatever bonus XP we can get from killing captains. Um, let's mark it up. Let's fast travel there. Do we have intel on any of these guys? Shaq the Warlord. Details. Flees in terror after being stealth attacked. And he's the leader of this mission. So therefore, all we have to do is stealth attack him. And he'll run away in fear and we'll complete the mission and get an easy 1370 XP. We are so doing that. But first, who are you going up against? Noruk Deathmonger, do we have details on you? Yes, we do. First of all, vigilant against stealth, okay. Enraged by mortal wounds. Uh oh, hail of bolts. Yeah, this is pretty deadly. Okay, so we gotta treat you with kick gloves. Um, soft target, heavily damaged by ranged attacks. Fewer Morgai more flies and soft headed. Becomes dazed when shot in the head. Okay, so. Huh. Interesting. We'll leave him for a second. I'm probably gonna do a, a stun and burn combo on him. See if that works. He's not necessarily immune to burning or enraged by burning. Yes, that's what we're going to do. Unleash a little bit of apocalypse now on him. Okay, so first of all, stealth down. Shack. And you know what I want to do? I want to fill up my might bar before um, going in. Smacky smacky. I don't think so. Okay, so my bar is full. Look at the face on of me. Only a mother could love. Alright, now, um, forgot to drain the last man standing. We're going up there. We'll probably get full arrows as soon as we start the mission, so that should be okay. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, alright? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.